If you work with PDF fillable forms and you've ever had to load items into a drop down menu, you know how cumbersome and tedious that can be. Let me give you an example. Here's a thousand items that we need to, it's just an example, but let's say you had a thousand items to put into your drop down menu. Column A is your description and column B is your export value. I'm going to go ahead and copy that. I'll go back to my form. I'll click my toolbar button that says fill drop down and it's pretty simple. There's step one which is you just select the field that you want to load. In this case it's called item and then step two I just paste what I copy from Excel then I click fill drop down. And there you have a thousand items loaded up. Pretty simple, pretty slick. Let me show you the list box. It's the exact same principle. I'll check list box, I'll paste, I'll click fill drop down, I'll just wait. And there's my thousand items. You know, be here all day, you try to do that manually. Or you could go to pdfautomationstation.com, sign up to become a member and start using all of these tools yourself. I'm going to delete this list box and uh, I'll show you a more practical um, example. Here you have 194 parts and some prices. Now if I want to, if I want the first item in my drop down to be blank, I'll just leave a blank cell at the top of these columns like that. And if I want, if I don't need export values, I just have to copy one column. If I require export values, then I copy two columns. So I'll go ahead and copy that. I'll go back to my form and fill drop downs. There's only one here now. This drop down will show you a list of any drop downs or list boxes. So I only have one now because I deleted that list box. I'll paste from Excel, I'll click fill drop down, and there's all my parts. Now if you recall from a previous video when we showed you how to do math calculations using a drop down, there's a script in there that you can use. So when you copy your fields down it will work on every single row. So I'm going to copy that script now and I'll just enter it into my subtotal field custom calculation script and because that script is in here now when I copy that field down it will be in every field and it'll work in every row and because my item field is already loaded with all the items when I copy that that will copy to every row too so let's create some multiple copies I'll just do five today and let's test that out and you can see all these zeros here, that's because there's no quantity here. So I'm going to put a number one uh, for quantity. And I'll just copy that down. Okay, so there's my price for this part. Let's just check out a couple others here. Make sure this thing works. Pretty simple. Pretty fast. Pretty slick. PDFautomationStation.com Sign up for become a member and use this drop down filler, save you hours of time. Thanks for watching. See you next time.